Now that most COVID-19 restrictions will be lifted by May 31st, the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership is preparing to welcome more visitors back to the city. Brianna Smith explains what the PDP hopes that'll mean for major downtown events. We're so, so excited to do that, to bring live music back to, you know, thousands of people. After more than a year, event organizers in Pittsburgh like Sarah Aziz say they're thrilled to finally get back some sense of normalcy. At the top of her list, no longer having to keep the Three Rivers Arts Festival contained to the cultural district. We are really excited that um, we'll be able to be back in Point State Park, not for the full 10 days of the festival, but for both weekends, the Friday, Saturday and Sunday um, of both weekends. Theater, hotel and the convention center managers say they're ready to welcome back guests too. Currently, as we speak, our RV show is moving in. We've got a great uh, uh, annual volleyball tournament happening Memorial Day weekend. But then as we move uh, a little further into the summer, we're really excited to get started with that first uh, convention. They're hoping to reach revenue like it was in 2019. The travel economy, that $6.5 billion, is the result of visitation from over 33 million people per year that come into Allegheny County for travel purposes. A lot of those people, of course, come to the downtown central business district for a variety of reasons. But as people make their way downtown again, event organizers say they'll still be met with safety protocols. Folks can definitely feel safe going inside any of our venues. Outdoors, you know, we're doing tons of training with all of our staff and our volunteers. And tourism is expected to pick up sooner than planned now that the governor increased indoor and outdoor capacity limits starting this coming Monday. In downtown, Brianna Smith, KDKA News.